Kay as a lady of 50 years old was uh, in fantastic great shape. She ran two miles every morning and I thought that she would outlive me by 20 years. Early in the morning she woke up with a tremendous headache and I asked her if there was anything I could do to help her out. She says, uh, call 911. Rushed her to the hospital and I thought she'd have a bad migraine headache, but it turned out to be something a lot more serious. We went into surgery with her and she never came out of surgery well. She came out with a stroke the first night and approximately two nights later she had a second stroke and she was paralyzed for the rest of her life. And they told me twice that she would not live through the night. So I got caretakers to take care of her at the house and uh, we took her home and slowly she started getting a little bit better where she could understand and carry a sentence and then got to the point after a couple years where she could actually communicate with us. You never know what life can bring in front of you. Our plans were completely changed in our lives. It's amazing how friends and people vacate you when something like this happens. People can't handle these situations very well, so they start going in other places, and your friends that you all had were gone. We think that we can take care of all our issues in our lives, but we can't. We have to rely upon somebody bigger than that. In the beginning, it was all mostly about making money and being successful, and, and now I realize that the only thing that really matters is you need to finish well for the Lord. She was such a special lady, she never complained about anything. And if you'd ask her how she's doing, she would always tell you she was marvelous. She must have seen something from heaven because she always had a smile on her face through all the time that she was sick. And her attitude was just like unbelievably uh, sweet. And this was a lady that can't move any of her limbs and had to be fed by somebody else but yet she would still have a smile for you and be happy to see you. Kay was sick for 20 years and five months before I lost her, and she was the love of my life. <laughs>